Alright, so it's day three of the Never Say Die Tour here in Europe. <clears throat> We're in Paris, France today where it's rainy and cold. And uh, I'm just going to take you through a typical day of what we do when you're on a festival style tour like this <clears throat> uh, with like eight, nine bands. It's, uh, it's pretty crazy. First thing we do, wake up on the bus. So uh, after you wake up and grab some of your gear and your clothes that you need for the day, then we uh, go inside the venue and they usually have some catering ready, either a breakfast or a lunch style catering. Uh, then later in the day, uh, more, more closer to when we play, they have like a dinner. Um, but right now it should be lunch or breakfast, so let's go in there and check it out. The shitty part was though, we were going through three different countries. Alright, so it looks like there's a bunch of sandwich stuff. There's like ham and turkey and cheese, uh, mustard, mayo, some chips, some bread. There's some Coke, orange juice, stuff like that. I can't really read any of the packaging, so sometimes you just go for it. But uh, I had a sandwich earlier and it tasted like cardboard, so I don't know. Probably because it's not packed with preservatives and sugar like in the States. But anyway, after you eat some food and uh, get some breakfast, lunch, whatever, then we will uh, go inside the venue. <clears throat> and there's gear and merch scattered everywhere because we just unloaded the trailers. So what I've got to do is reach into these giant boxes of stands and figure out what stands I want to use that day, put my cymbals on there, uh, and then do a sound check. So now I've got to go set up my drums and everything and then probably do a sound check. Alright. Did you watch the talk? Yeah, it's good. Alright, so after we eat some lunch and breakfast and set up our gear and do a sound check, we wait around to play. And a lot of times guys will walk around the city or get wasted, drink beer, whatever you gotta do to get through your day. <laughs> um, then after we play, uh, either before or after you play, they have a dinner style catering, which is usually something hot. Um, and there's showers, uh, bathrooms, all that good stuff, all the free beer you can drink, uh, all the free soda you can drink, tons of food. Uh, a lot of guys will walk around the city, like I said, and just check in the, take in the sights. That's what I've been doing is walking around, filming stuff, taking pictures. But And then once the uh, show's over, tear down your gear, load it in the trailer, and go do the same thing again. So yeah, it's really fun. Make baguette. Red chili burger. McDonald's in France. What? Oh, yeah. So, uh, 
Yeah, we're walking down the streets of Paris. Everybody loves scooters here. And uh, I think I'm going to get me some ass. I don't know about you. I'm going to uh, get some ass chicken. All kinds of different types of ass. Mmm, gonna get me some of that delicious ass. Everything they say about France is true. They love their fine dining. Everyone knows that they have the best cooks here and best restaurants. There's cafes and uh, restaurants everywhere, and they're all like really fancy looking. Probably can't afford any of them. I'm probably going to go have a Royale with cheese from McDonald's later, which is what they call a quarter pounder. If you've ever seen uh, Pulp Fiction or House Guests with Sinbad, they talk about the Royale with cheese because they don't have the metric system here, so there's no quarter pounders. Anyway, I'll show you that later probably. All right, this is Noah from the Browning, and I'm here with a fan uh, in Paris. Uh, France, and he's going to speak a little French for you. Salut les gars, donc euh, c'est Jean Ulrich ici. Donc euh, je voudrais vous dire que j'ai assisté au show de The Browning qui a été bien trop court à mon goût. Et je voudrais vous dire que ce groupe c'est vraiment le meilleur groupe. Que je peux connaître depuis longtemps, je le connais depuis pas longtemps. C'est franchement fantastique. Et euh, je sais pas, écoutez The Browning d'une part, écoutez The Browning tout le temps, tout le temps The Browning. Et après, allez les voir en live. Et commencer à supporter parce qu'ils ont sorti qu'un album et j'attends avec impatience leur second album. J'espère qu'elle sortira bientôt. Donc maintenant, à fond sur The Browning. Et franchement, c'est cool. I don't know what he said, but it sounded awesome and it was about the brownie. Yeah. Hug. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> on a subway, headed to see the Eiffel Tower in Paris, France. The Eiffel Tower. We made it. Paris, France. Alright, we made it. I'm standing at the base of the Eiffel Tower here in Paris, France, and it is insane. <laughs>